Phosphorus is one of those essential elements for life. We find it in macromolecules like nucleic acids. We find it in bones and teeth. So it's certainly essential for life. Here's the phosphorus cycle. The main reservoir, or the reservoir for phosphorus is in rock. So it's a geological reservoir. And it uh, is released from that rock primarily through rain and therefore erosion. And so we have erosion and runoff. So rain and weathering causes erosion and runoff of that phosphorus into the soil. So then that phosphorus in the soil gets taken up as it's a phosphate and it gets taken up by plants and is incorporated into the tissue of the plant. Then gets passed on to animals through the animals eating it. it gets passed from animals as um, it gets excreted out as waste. But also, of course, when the plants and the animals die, then it also gets incorporated into the soil. Uh, but phosphorus also then runs off down into waterways and then ultimately into the ocean. Where in the ocean, it forms sedimentation and it forms new rock, which eventually over geological time, we get uplifting of the rock and we produce new rock uh, that's outside of the water uh, and, and then we get through the erosion and continue through this process again. So this is just called uplifting, so it's a geological process um, and very slow through a geological time the phosphorus is then returned to the rock and the process con continues again. Now, in terms of human impact, just like we saw with the nitrogen cycle, humans have played a massive role uh, in disrupting the phosphorus cycle because phosphorus is such an important element for the growth of plants. It's a very, very large component of fertilizer along with nitrogen. So um, the rock is mined to extract the phosphorus and it then is um, placed on crops um, in phosphorus rich uh, fertilizer. And so that phosphorus rich fertilizer goes onto the crops and onto the land for the growth of the crops. But of course, we have the same issues we had with nitrogen in that we have runoff down into waterways and we get contamination of waterways. We have increased uh, nutrients in the waterways. So we have eutrophication occurring. Um, as well as that, we have contamination of the waterways that, that cause damage to uh, marine ecosystems like the Great Barrier Reef, for example.